morning. I'm at Marylebone Station. We're ready for our journey to Birmingham. Except today there are no trains running from Marylebone uh, because they're suspended for upgrade works. We have to go to Paddington for an alternate route. Arrived at uh, Marylebone Station uh, to get my first ever train from here, which apparently isn't happening. Why are we here? I can't seem to do a good introduction to that. Uh, we're going up to Birmingham to go to Nando's, which was the uh, the 28th Nando's to open in the United Kingdom. You sure it's 28? Yeah, it's okay. 28. Why are you fucking ruining my introduction? That was it, that's why. It exists, and that's proof. It looks like Lacks got seen lipstick, them. but... <laughs> <laughs> should keep this effect on all day. <laughs> Jessica says that you can't buy the lacto-free uh, semi-skim milk everywhere. She keeps looking everywhere. She said Sainsbury's has stopped stocking it. This is a tiny Sainsbury's and they've got like more of it than any of these other made up pretend milks. I keep seeing it, I just, it just stands out. So look what we picked up. We picked up mm. an Annabelle and she picked up, what the hell is that? It's a muffin. Chelsea bun. Oh, it's oh, a Chelsea muffin. bun. And you picked up some Snacker Jacks? Snacker Jacks. Uh, they're salt and vinegar flavour and they are delicious. Lap and Annabelle are finding out when we can get a train back, if we can get a train back. And looks like there's a bit of confusion on the matter. Maybe we can't get a train back, we'll be stuck in Birmingham forever. So, what are you doing now? Slipping over on the wet surface. I am walking past the giant fucking locomotive, so you might not be able to hear me. I'm uh, on platform three getting on a first Great Western train going uh, to Oxford. Oxford? Oxford, where we're going to have to change for another train to get to Birmingham. Are we in first class? Uh, we will sneak onto first class if it is possible, but we don't have tickets for first class now. Uh, are you hungry? No. Need to work up a hunger. You've got a nice peri-peri. No! Don't snack between meals! Honestly, I'm being a good boy, I'm having my breakfast, and I'm going to have my chicken later. Harry. We're in the quiet carriage. There's also not the rear two coaches, that's coaches G and H are first class. You may upgrade with a weekend upgrade in these two coaches. If you can't hear me. The front five coaches, that's A, B, C, D and F. Behind me here is our next train. This one goes all the way to Birmingham and some other places. Here we are at Moore Street Station. Uh, remodeled and reopened just last year and very, very local to uh, one of the architectural delights of the, the current century. Uh, ball bag. There it is up there, Selfridges. Uh, we've finally arrived at uh, Birmingham. It's about 6.25 p.m. So we're going to run to Nando's and then run back and catch this train before it goes back to wherever it goes to catch the train to get onto the next train that goes to the place that has the train that goes to London on it. It's not actually 6.25 p.m. No, though, that is was it? all a joke, but it was a slightly exaggerated what's actually happened. Uh, we're at Nando's. The Nando's number is 28. It's on Birmingham on... Uh, well, it's not really Broad Street, is it? But it's on some side street. Broad, That's Broad, Broad Street, street there. Nando's. This is uh, Mark. And you're from RateYourNando's.com. I'm co-founder of RateYourNando's.com. Tell us a bit about that. Um, we started it up almost two years ago. We're trying to rate all the Nando's in the UK. Currently 76% of branches have been rated. And we've got our monthly competition. We can win a £10 Nando's gift card. Simply by rating your Nando's. Um, World well, Nando's recently launched two months ago. We've had uh, Canada, Pakistan, Australia recently rated. So check it out. RateYourNandos.com. Question. Any question? Um, any questions? How many Nando's are there in the UK? In the UK, there are currently 232. Two. Don't quote me on that. And yeah, new ones opening all the time. New ones opening all the time. Blackpool coming soon. That their first one in Blackpool. I think so, yeah. I've got to do fish and chips in the Blackpool Nando's, surely. Start serving fish and Nando's. Yeah. 
I'll buy it. Harry Perry fish. Fantastic. Ready? One, two. Wang is soup. Three cheese. Boiling hot. Get it out of five. I give it a four. Four. That's pretty good. Four out of five. Four out of five. I'm not happy with the hair. 3.5. Yeah, okay. There was a hair on the hair on the on the sauce. The plates they're using really small plates. I can't really see it properly because of all the tissues I've got on it. But it's a small plate. It's hard to work around when you've got a half chicken and two sides on there. Uh, the manager wasn't wearing a name badge apparently. Uh, they haven't taken the chicken away. And the spicy rice was very dry. Either overcooked or slightly uncooked. Not sure. The rice was hard in the middle. Uh, I give it a 3 out of 5 as well. Um, it's just average here. <laughs> Nothing special. But it's not bad either. So. A change of score here. Yeah. You said to onboard all the bands. I'm sorry to reduce my back. score to three. And that's generous because the toilet's not good. It's a really dingy corridor you have to walk down and it smells like a butcher's. And, uh, it smells like a butcher's? It smells like a butcher's. Oh, and I don't eat meat, so I don't want to eat it. And, uh, yeah, it's You basically have to walk through something that should just be a staff only in, in, entrance. Because it's a uh, sort of uh, almost done mark door that just has toilets around on it. And once you go Inside, there's a few more doors, and then it's like a dodgy staircase that you, and you looks a bit dingy, and they shouldn't really make customers walk down there. It doesn't have it down. Just, it's not for a restaurant. If it was a shitty old pub, maybe, but you have to buy then, yeah, the, the toilets are a bit crap. Tip of the month, especially if you're a vegetarian, you come to Nando's. Tip of the month is to get a, a chicken bone or a bit of chicken, stick it in ketchup, shake it up, and then complain to the manager, and you'll get a free chicken. Just like that. It's especially good if you're homeless or don't want to pay for your food. We just come out of Nando's 28. Um, there it is, just off Broad Street, and uh, we're now off to the pub. Uh, we all sufficiently uh, filled up with uh, food. It was uh, average food. We all gave it sort of three, basically. Um, yeah. So off we go. Right, We're in Weatherspoons, the figure of eight. Woo! That's the figure of eight. What do you think of Birmingham? In a word, great. it was great. It was fantastic. It was All so right. great. She's running off to go home. It's just the three of us, so uh, we're going to go to the uh, Apple Store to go online and uh, show Birmingham once again the wonders of onemanonejar.com. Uh, Sadie's going to dress up as uh, Clue from Tron in the Disney store uh, and I'm going to whip my dick out in HMV or something along those lines, I don't know. It looks like they're already sorted for one man, one jar in this shop. It's crowded. So it's company policy not to film in the Apple store. So we're now outside it. But one man, one jar is now on the block list, which means there's absolutely no reason to be inside one of them. You know, the population of Birmingham. Oh, that guy. Also, I just had a little wander through there and it slowly put me off uh, getting an iPhone, which I was on the verge of getting one, but I'm never going to get one now. <laughs> this is the pinnacle of Birmingham, where uh, when they built the uh, Ball encrusted in expensive gourmet jelly beans. That was when uh, Birmingham and London were tied. So what you get when you walk around the boring, get advertised to, get shops, shiny things, encouraging you to buy. Spend your money, people. The world doesn't work without you spending money.
One of Birmingham's specialities is the Balti curry, but another more recent development is the cheap baguettes. There's lots of baguette shops, baguette world, baguette de mom. This one is baguette world, and they're special baguettes from 50p. I managed to get this uh, ham salad baguette for 50p. Oh, there goes probably all the ham that was in there. Oh, no, it's half of the ham that was in there on the floor, and that's the rest. Here we go. So now we're back in uh, Birmingham Moor Street. We're taking the train back to Oxford uh, with the connection over there. So it's been quite a nice day. Uh, we've come here for the Nando's. We've walked around Birmingham, nice little day trip, and we're going home. We came here predominantly for the Nando's. That's what we did, and uh, that's it. We're, we're off uh, to the next Nando's, um, Blue Water. Uh, back from our day trip to Birmingham for Nando's 28. Back in Paddington, back in London, my home. It's good to be back. <laughs> 